So if you don't know, uh, I work as a furniture delivery driver. I go around my town and deliver furniture all day. Um, and part of that job is going into people's houses, interacting with people. Um, you know, usually we're not in houses very long, but this whole coronavirus pandemic thing has really, <clears throat> it's, it's caused a lot of feelings about uh, my job and how people are reacting to it and the whole, um, just the way it's changing how we're living and going about our days, our everyday lives, it's just changing everything. And so today I just, I just got a rant real quick about the whole mask thing. All right, in my state, and I assume just about every other state, it is mandatory to wear a face mask uh, in most settings. <clears throat> now, with my job, it's not really a requirement. The requirements for my job, we are working outside, we are doing uh, labor, we are moving heavy things. I do not, the things I move are not light. And we are, since we're going in and out of a residence, um, it's not typically required that we wear a mask, but we always ask the customer who we go to their house for, we ask, would you like us to wear a mask? And uh, if we don't, we always make sure we distance. You know, it's a contactless uh, delivery. We don't, uh, you, they don't have to sign for it, nothing. They can just be in a whole other room. We get in, get out. Usually the deliveries don't take uh, more than like a half hour. Boom, bing, bang, boom, quick, we're done. But what makes me upset is, listen, if you're a customer, I'm coming into your home and you wear a face mask, that's fine. That's, that's awesome, cool. Uh, if you want me or my partner to wear a mask uh, when we're coming into your house, totally understand. Cool with that. Totally on board. I mean, it... it it makes sense to me. You know, there's some people who have um, some in their life who are at risk, individuals, whether they have some underlying disease or whatever it may be that might make them more susceptible to getting really ill with the virus. And I totally respect that and I will do that. I will put on a mask for you. But what makes me upset is something that has happened today and it's happened it happens at least once or twice a week and it's been happening for the last couple months since this whole mask mandate happened and since the whole virus outbreak happened and that is today went to a customer's home opened up the door and they immediately said oh you guys don't wear face masks and we go no we we usually ask if you if you want us to to wear one or not and he goes Oh yeah, if you if you could, um, that'd be great. And so we did. And this has happened numerous times with other customers. Same exact scenario. They want us to put a face mask on, and we are moving this heavy furniture, sweating our ass off. It's like ninety degrees outside, and they are all up on our business, all up on our business. When we are bringing in furniture, they're right next to us. That when we're setting it up in their house, they are hovering over us, breathing over us with no mask on. They don't put a mask on. They want us to put a mask on. In fact, they insist we can't come into their house unless we have a mask. Yet they don't have the decency to put on one themselves, right? And I'm okay if you're not for the mask thing. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like I, I don't care. It's, it's. I know a lot of people have been making it a political issue. To me, I'm not overly concerned about the virus. I do have some people in my life who are uh, susceptible, who have underlying conditions, who if they got sick, it might possibly kill them, maybe. Uh, I don't know, there's no way of knowing unless they get sick. Um, and I wouldn't want that to happen, but I, 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 I respect that people don't want to wear it, and I respect that people want to wear it. At heart, I'm, I guess I'm more of a libertarian in that uh, regard. You know, it, just do 
what you want to do. Just make sure that if you're not wearing a mask, you're not all up in my business. Like I said, when we deliver, if we're not wearing one, if they're not wearing one either, you know, we kind of, we always try to keep that distance. We don't want to get too close. Um, but when you require us, like a, a someone to come into your home and you insist that they wear a mask and then you don't do it yourself, you know, it's either an all in or out, all out approach. If you don't want to wear a mask, you don't want us to wear a mask, sweet, we're both on the same page. If you want us to wear a mask and you wear a mask, uh, cool, awesome, then that's, that's sweet. But I, it just, when they, they insist that we wear a mask in their home and they refuse to wear one and they are hovering over us, in most cases they just get right up on our business it makes me feel like, you know, okay, so in your mind, us wearing masks is protecting you, because that's the whole point of wearing a mask, right? The whole point is you're not breathing out onto other people, you're not spreading this, and so wearing a mask is really to protect others, not yourself. But if someone breathes into your face, your mask is not really going to help prevent any of that gunk from getting into your respiratory system and then you getting sick from the virus if they have it. So this guy today was just, I and mean, we were in his house for probably about a half hour, and he was just hovering, we were in his kitchen, and he was hovering over us the entire time, not even saying anything, not saying anything at all, just standing there watching us without a mask, breathing, insisted that we wear a mask, and it just makes me feel like they, I, at the end of the day, it's just this feeling, this gnawing feeling of they, in their mind, knowing it or not knowing it, subconsciously, are valuing their life above ours. Um, service people that come into your home or service people that they're interacting with, they feel, well, I don't want you to spread anything to me but I don't necessarily care if I spread anything to you. And it's a real, real, just crappy, bad feeling. Um, and yeah, I, I hate it. Like I said, mask, no mask. I don't care, just if you're going to insist that someone wear one, then at least wear one yourself. You know, if you're not going to wear a mask, do not expect someone else to also. That's kind of where I land on this whole thing. And so, yeah, when I'm interacting with someone else, if they insist I put one on but they can't put one on themselves, come on. Come on. So, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to rant real quick. I got pretty upset over that whole thing today. Um... But anyways, yeah, that's about it.